YouTube and this is your boy Third Wise Man and today I'm going to show everybody how to set up OBS to stream record any um we're going to go with PC games but if you have actually we'll go ahead and show a video capture card too so I think that this should be a pretty simple video for some people but people will enjoy it plenty of people ask me when they come to my live stream hey how do you use this how do you use this how do you use this so Let's get into this. So, this is OBS, and you see I have plenty of scenes here. I don't use that one really, and that one I don't really play Minecraft. That's like my monitor whenever I'm playing on my Xbox. Okay, so, pretty much, pretty, pretty simple. You know, I set mine to 30 frames. So, let's go ahead and let's start out with some settings, okay? So, let's go into the settings here. Alright, so, general, I'm English, and I just made a profile blah 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 alright so you know here's just some regular stuff I use CBR and I only use uh, 264 encoder um, I use AAC at 48 um, for the format you know I use stereo at a 128 bit rate broadcaster settings this is where you need to get this from twitch if you're streaming to twitch you need to find um, where what you're going to be doing twitch live stream blah 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 blah. you know you can change that to file output only and all this other stuff and you can change it so you're like on hitbox or youtube or uh, I don't even think they have mlg on here do they they have all these different things so but twitch is the most popular so and then you have to get your stream key from the website when you sign in really simple to do um, and I know this says that mine isn't set up for Twitch, but it is. It's just the way that my format is set set up. So I ought to reconnect if I ever get disconnected at 10 seconds. So it'll take 10 seconds. That gives my internet time to reset itself and all that. And this is your file path on where it's going to save. So like when I'm recording this right now, it's saving into this file folder. Uh, video. This is my monitor. I just do a monitor it's a 5 through ratio uh, my video is an Nvidia GeForce GTX 750 um, I always use a 1.5 downscale resolution like um, because like when I get a 1080 it'll down downscale at 1.5 make it 720 so I know my monitor is really terrible right now as you can see but it works um, I just use the fastest is what I use so um, and I only use 30 frames because Twitch and YouTube already downgrade it. So what's it matter? Yes, save the changes, I guess. I always just use default. So in case I ever switch out my headset or my speakers or my mics, I switch out or any of that. I don't use push to talk. So that doesn't matter. Any of this I really don't mess with. Hotkeys. I really don't use many hotkeys. I know I have these set and stuff, whatever, you know. Um, these are advanced. Um... I use custom 264 encoder settings and I use CRF equals 20 and that's what I definitely recommend very fast on the CPU preset so that way it's really quick um, normal buffering time is 700 milliseconds um, all this unchecked here force desktop audio to use video time stamps as a base for audio time yeah I use that whatever any of this stuff pretty much defaults you know um, don't I didn't mess with any of this browser I don't even know what that is the noise the microphone noise gate if any of you guys are asking is this freezes I guess hang on we're waiting okay then yeah I don't mess with that okay noise gate is like as you hear me talking this thing moves up and down so like if I move this little bar up and down it's gonna open so if I had it like turned all the way down here it would always have a noise like a, a little buzzing sound or something you know and then this is when it closes if it does or like after it quits reaching that level so usually I have it down here so that way when it quits reaching that level it just closes it and then it doesn't mics not getting picked up these I just um, oh I enabled noise gate if it wasn't already and you can see 25 attack time 200 hold time and release time is 150 um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, scene switcher um, is just you set up scenes and then you can start it and stop it and it'll switch the scenes automatically so like when I'm playing League of Legends once it kicks into a game it just automatically switches for me makes it so much easier 
now let's get into a scene okay so let's add a scene here real quick let's capture my other monitor real quick so I can show you guys okay so we're gonna add a scene we'll just call it scene 2 okay because I don't even know what the scene is what is this scene oh, okay yeah we don't even want this scene anymore delete that sorry about that uh, can you delete that or no yeah cool okay so then you have to add in a monitor capture okay I just name monitor capture monitor we'll just do the same monitor this is my second monitor uh, I don't really mess with any of this boom okay so now if you want an overlay image and we'll just call it overlay right I know I capitalized the V and I shouldn't have but um, we'll just use this overlay here so there's a League of Legends overlay right and then I wanted to game capture something, game capture, and I don't even have any games open, so it's not going to really come up, so cancel that. Um, if you have a video capture device, there we go. Uh, we'll call this webcam, and then, boom, here's our Logitech C615. That'll go ahead, edit the scene, so that way I can resize it, right? So resize it up to this corner, and then let's put it below the overlay, right, obviously. Um... And then showed you guys that. Okay, text. So hi, this is a helpful guide for if you would like to start streaming. Uh, change that to a blue. I love blues. Blues right there. That blue is fine. And change it to impact because impact is the best. Cool. And then edit the scene and let's move it just right here on the screen. Yeah, something like that. Okay, you guys get the point there. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So then you see there's that. Okay. And then you can move that so that way it's not in the way of the overlay. And then you could obviously edit the scene, move it up here, and put it see how it's over the webcam right there it's over the webcam the webcam is under the overlay that you can see right in there it's under the overlay the monitor capture is underneath everything okay so what else do we have here global sources so if I wanted my alerts I just you know CR, CL, CLR browsers type in the URL blah, blah blah that's usually how you do your alerts and you just it gives you the little URL you put that in there and everything works right pretty simple there images we'll just logo right I know this is getting really crowded on here uh, where's my logo at um, pictures completed pictures logo logo edit scene for my logo and we'll put it right down there where that maps supposed to go on there and move it right there All right okay so really doesn't look very great, does it? No, it doesn't. Whatever. It works. Okay. Just a little tutorial. So, um, I think that's it. So, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So, I hope this video helped a lot of you guys out. Um, I've been meaning to make this video, and I hope that it really, really, really does help out a lot of you guys. So hopefully, whenever somebody comes back in my stream and says, hey, can you help me set up OBS settings for my, for me, for my computer, and my computer, just so you guys know, is an average gaming computer. It can run League of Legends, it can obviously record League of Legends, and all this other stuff. So next time you guys come in, I'll just go ahead and redirect you to this for the OBS setup and the live stream and it's as simple as clicking getting all the settings made get your scenes made and click start streaming it's as simple as that and recording it's as simple as record edit upload really 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 simple right so that's about it so check out my Twitch at daily stream twitch.tv slash third wise man knowing that this is what I mostly use this program for um, check out my Twitter if you want to stay active at third underscore wise man um, and that's about it so leave a like a dislike a comment um, if you're new subscribe so just give me some feedback that'd be awesome peace